Hi everyone, we're here with our final part of the Fantasy Impromptu by Chopin. And that's pretty much just the last page after... <laughs> where just to do it a little bit differently uh, that transition you can do a little bit different if the first time you slow down because there is a retenuto written there well this time you could just go straight forward without without doing any retenuto so Especially these fingers, more and more, were less, the rotation is happening less here and more on the side. When we use the fifth finger in rotation, it's pretty much completely on the side of the finger. So, and playing the note with this movement, without using anything in the elbow, this should be completely independent of the elbow. So again, just doing rotation there has to be a kind of wheel at the same time a certain fluidity so see how this is kind of rocking back and forth Really for 
the second it's it's kind of like that junction point so the way it's probably written in your score the line starts from the G sharp so that shows that it's clearly starting here and going but it's also the answer to so maybe good that it's written that way because we would have easily thought that F sharp is the beginning of the next thing, but it's yeah. So think of it more as a junction of the two. impromptu when you come to my master class we're going to do the whole thing together and thank you for your suggestions until next time <laughs>